It doesn't matter if you're five or 95. A car person is a car person is a car person. And I think that's the, the neat part about it. And that's why I like the business, the industry, the feel of what we do. I, I just think there, there's nothing else like I'm Tommy Pike. Um, we're here at Tommy Pike Customs in Greenville, South Carolina. We are a automotive lifestyles business. We do everything from full restorations to pretty much anything that our customers need or desire. I started right out of high school working at my parents' garage and uh, got a little job at a local car stereo window tent shop and here we are. You know, 20 years later, I bought that business and turned it into now Tommy Pike Customs. I met my wife uh, at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. When I was still working at the Speedway, he and I worked together on a car build that was really driven by him. He wanted to do something for charity. And that's where I really started to see kind of that personal side of him. And I knew that every project that he worked on or laid hands on, he had a personal relationship with who was receiving those keys at the end of the job. It's pretty neat to be able to experience these things and, and see how it impacts people. When I come here, I'm at home. This is home for me. The crew here, they treat me with dignity and respect, and I trust them with my babies. These cars are my babies, you know, and I trust them with, with them, and I know they'll do the right thing. And now I've got this 46 Buick here at the shop, and uh, it's another case that uh, it's already, it's, exceeded my expectations. I'm really excited about it. I can't, I can't wait to see it finished because it's, I mean, it's a local car in our hometown and it's been owned by the same family. I'm anxious to see it and I'm anxious for the family to see it too. Tommy is the son that Kenny never had and Kenny has become the, the dad that Tommy lost. Everywhere we go, they ask, are we Tommy's parents? And we say, well, well yeah, sort of. <laughs> Adopted parents, anyway. Even though Tommy's not my son, I couldn't be more prouder of a person than if he was my son. Very few people have a dream and, you know, have the internal fortitude to try to see it through. Ultimately, he wanted another toy. As much as he has customer projects going on, he is a car guy. He's not just a, a guy to work on other people's cars. He himself is an enthusiast. So for him, you know, this definitely was another toy. He had started this restoration. The relationship started to brew with Quaker State, and it really just perfectly married. We were looking for something that would be different old school. It would be a showpiece, but almost an interactive showpiece. The wheels started turning and six months later, here we are with this incredible, awesome 69 F100. The truck from the outside looks like your grandfather's truck or your dad's truck, but when you open the hood or when you hear it start or when you, you know, sit inside it and look at that interior, you realize this is so not my grandfather's truck. So what we've done is we've gotten rid of the twin I-beam suspension, and we've gone now four-wheel independent suspension, four-wheel disc brakes, small 800 horsepower modern GM drivetrain. It would equate to being the CTSV supercharged power plant. It's got the Eaton 1.9 liter blower on it with all forged internals, CNC ported heads, huge pulleys, I mean, huge boost pulleys so that we're making upwards of 20 pounds plus of boost on this thing. It's just all the way there. I mean, anything that we could throw at it, we threw at it. It's just a really nice, compact, high horsepower motor. And pretty much just the best of the best as far as modern components. So this thing runs and drives and rides like a, a modern car.
just a really nice, very twisty, windy road. Beautiful, especially this time of year because you can see all of Greenville. It's gonna be a really neat opportunity to display how the truck handles and drives. It's like sweaty palms. Uh, you have this nervous shake. I mean, it's like, it's just amazing. It, it's just on the fine line of being out of control. I mean, it's just, it, it's a beast. I, 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 words, I, I don't even have the words. It, it's amazing. Tommy's always, you know, referred to his job as just telling a story. And it's, it's either a story of a relationship, it's a story of hard work. So we see just continuing to do that. You know, we don't have the desire to be a, you know, a high volume car builder. We want to grow the business, but not by losing that, that personal touch or the opportunity to build those relationships. Growing up, my father was an aircraft mechanic. He was always tinkering and doing little things on, on his uh, vehicles around the house. And uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't guess I really thought about it. I just ended up doing it. I, you know, with my toys and bicycles and wagons and kind of tear everything apart. And was 50% of the time successful in putting it back together so it would still work. So I kind of enjoyed that. I enjoy being able to take something that is not right and, and you get these old cars that are just rusty, beat up buckets of bolts and six months, a year, two years later, you've got a product like this. And I think that is what drives me to, to continue to want to be better and do better work and, and do things differently than everybody else.